Hello, oh, welcome once again to the Dr. Digital Podcast. I have a special guest today. I've got Edwin who is talking about AI and I tell people all the time, you know, I want to talk to people like Edwin Culver because when I used to teach AI and machine learning, very interested in what's going to happen with it. And this is the podcast that has to do with the only one with social audio and some of AI is doing some really interesting things about audio. So maybe we can touch on that as well. So stick around at the end of the program, especially too because you had a complimentary website analysis. So with that as an introduction, I'd like to talk a little bit about Edward Culver. He is the owner and founder of Foxhound Advertising. As I suggest, he's doing work in AI, artificial intelligence, especially when it comes down to conversion funnel services. And this is really a pretty fascinating field. And that's why I wanted to encourage him and get him on the show today. And it follows up with the cloning of both your voice and your personality. So it's a pretty fascinating endeavor and that's why i think he'd be a worthwhile guest so with that as an introduction edwin thank you for taking some time out and welcome to the show i hope you can tell us a little bit about your background and how is it that you got started in this fascinating field in the first place thanks mick appreciate you having me on here um a little bit of background on me what i kind of always start out by telling folks is you know i didn't start with the dreams of going into marketing or even business uh, you can see all the music equipment behind me. I actually started yeah. as a, uh, a classical guitarist and moved really? down to, to sunny Sarasota, Florida, got away from the cold up in Michigan and had to figure out how do I build an audience? How do I actually, you know, make this thing happen? Sure. Mm -hmm. and so yeah, doing the whole independent artist thing and just, you know, a couple of years of doing that, had to learn, okay, what is a funnel? How do you, you know, build interest? How do you pre-sell people on things? And then you know what one of the big turning points i had a business mentor who just opened my eyes to like outsourcing and kind of systemizing automation getting yourself out of like being inside the hamster wheel doing the actual work and instead creating assets that you know you do the work once and then it does the work for you or you build a team that does the work for you on an right. ongoing basis so did all that to basically got myself i booked my first full tour i was on tour doing that and actually made some money at music and it was pretty cool but then yeah. COVID happened. and okay. you know while while everybody else like kind of in my field there all the musicians a lot of them kind of ran for the hills the yes. sky's falling everything's turning upside down i i just thought man this is like this is the kind of the point where entrepreneurs are made and mm -hmm. let's, let's actually make some lemonade out of out of these lemons that have been handed here what if i started actually you know doing some marketing for other businesses and Okay. actually built myself a little agency. So that really kind of inspired it. I was like, man, okay, this is a great opportunity to hole up here and just nerd out on the computer while everybody else is hunkering down. We really started working with like a lot of people on LinkedIn, music or uh, resume writers, career coaches, folks kind of in that realm because it was this, it just exploding suddenly. There's this huge demand. Yeah. And so we, you know, we put ourselves down that path got the marketing agency started doing stuff like that. What, what we landed on kind of as our mission statement is we're all about serving the business owner who just wants to set it and forget it on the marketing side. So you can focus on your zone of genius. And so you can go and make the biggest impact on other people's lives by staying within the, the unique abilities that you're most suited for. Mm -hmm. And, and I think that came back from my mentor showing me like, get yourself out of the hamster wheel of the stuff that's really not your zone of genius there and, and systemize that, automate that. And you know how we happen to do that, we just, we'll probably get into this in a little bit, but right now our, our flagship service just happens to help you book dozens of B2B appointments, bypass LinkedIn's um, weekly limits and things like that and, and everything there. So since it's post pandemic, then I was curious about some of the changes and since this is a very dynamic field anyway. so what would you say are some of the biggest changes that you've seen since you started in the pandemic period and now post pandemic i think a big one that a lot of people have been kind of complaining about or just running into like how do we get around this is just the sheer saturation the sheer saturation online not just of linkedin although that's one big thing a lot of people's connection rates are going down everybody's kind of jumping on there uh, there's saturation, obviously, in email and, and text and, and all these different platforms that we're used to using to generate leads. I, I'm i a pretty young person, you know, what do I know? But I've also kind of just felt like 
you know, what, well, what else is new under the sun here? You, you're probably email 20 years ago was this kind of brand new place where you could get huge response rates. Okay. Fast forward 20, 20 years later. And now, yeah. now everybody's happy if they can get a 20 to 30% open rate. Mm -hmm. That's, I just figured, okay, that's just, that's just how life, you know, works. And, and one of the biggest challenges it seems to be as, as I uh, just research with folks, interview with them, one of the biggest pain points across the board tends to be decreased signal to noise ratio. I can't get through to my audience and I can't get them to engage back. And obviously that's the top of the funnel there. Like if I can't get them to engage at the top of the funnel, I've got fewer opportunities down the road. So would, did, are there hot growth areas then? And have you seen something that you would recommend or you'd start to see that, what would you say, okay, this is now hot. And I could say to company owners and business owners, this is really what you should think about. Yeah, that's a really good question. Since we kind of are coming in from the angle today of like the AI, AI is a new buzzword. I see all over the place, a lot of folks are pitching different AI tools. You've, you've got chat bots and data sourcing tools, um, you know, the, the audio tools, all of, just yes. a whole suite of things coming out with AI kind of slapped on top of there. And that's, that's great. That's super cool. Um, you know, I, I would say just if the more you can automate, the, the better. Yeah. Um, but at, at the end of the day, I personally like to look at these things and, and ask, okay, but what's like, what's the fundamental principle going on here? Is it going to be simple? And is it, are we going to be able to actually implement it? Because AI can kind of be sensationalized. And yeah. there's, there's a lot of hangups that folks have too about AI. Just, is this going to sound like a robot to the other person on the other line? Yeah, sure. <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. And then for a lot of people, again, because this is kind of a new and maybe scary area or maybe seemingly too impersonal, but what would you say that a business owner should think about when they are thinking about what you can offer and what you do in regards to AI and what should they be thinking about now? Yeah, I like to pull it back and just ask, okay, how can we keep it simple and executable? because there's all these tools and they've got all these different features and it's very simple to kind of get lost in. Okay, that's a lot of new fancy big buzzwords. I'm really not yeah. familiar with. This sales rep on the other lines is like really pitching it to me hardcore. The thing's gonna you know, cost you know, several arms and legs here to, to get set up and run and everything. I, I mean, I guess it's got the word AI, so let's go with it. And, yeah. and in reality, what, what I found is with a lot of these, you know, we've, we've used them on our, our side too. If, if it doesn't have a very clear, consistent, simple framework for how okay. you're going to execute it, mm -hmm. then sure. it, you just get lost in the weeds. It gets overwhelming. It's, it is too much to, to kind of bite off and chew all at once. And, and I like to tell folks like, you know, when, like on our solutions and stuff, we're like, we keep it simple. Like there's, here's just two or three principles. We're going to like break this down into a three-step process here. And it's going to do A, B, and C. Whether or not AI does it, doesn't matter. Like you can go do it yourself. AI is just going to be able to do it kind of in multiple directions all at once for you and keep you out of the hamster wheel so that you can focus on your zone of genius. Mm -hmm. So what type of expertise then would you offer and how would you assist a business owner who would be interested in what you're doing and especially the automated portion of it because then they don't have to put staff time and you know a salary to pay somebody to do that so it's easier with the robot you know they don't take vacations and stuff but then what would, types of expertise would you offer a business owner how can you assist them yeah it, i'll tell you kind of about our flagship program or service right now we're calling it the ai conversation funnel before i really break it down again just a reminder like we're all about serving the business owner who just wants to set it and forget it on the marketing side so you can focus on your zone of genius. And, and we truly earnestly believe if you're in your zone of genius, you're going to have the biggest impact on the world because you're serving yeah. others that, that unique ability that you're most suited for. Now, how we do that is by using this thing called an AI conversation funnel. Going back to first principles, we keep it super simple. A big problem that, like I said, I've been seeing over the last year, especially LinkedIn getting saturated. Everybody's trying to market on there. Everybody can sniff a sales pitch on there. LinkedIn keeps coming out with more weekly limitations. At one point, it's you're only allowed 100 connection requests a week. 
Yep. And for some people that seem to kind of disappear and they're able to get away with a few more for other people, they found some back doors and sneaky ways to get around that. And it's like, it's all very gray hat, like in the gray zone of, are we breaking the terms of service here? And mm -hmm. so sure. AI conversation funnel, we, we were just like, let's, let's, you know, get ourselves off of LinkedIn so that we're not having to play that game kind of by their rules. And let's just get off of there and, and go back to what do you need to do to get 20 people booked on your calendar this week like that? And, and that's usually a question I'll ask folks, like, what do you know, like how to get 20 people booked on your calendar this week? And the simple, simplest way we found to do it is just break it into a three-step process. So just three steps. Number one, validate. Number two, make an offer. And number three, book the folks who are interested in the offer. Now, what I mean by validate is you can go on LinkedIn, you can go all over the web, you can use data providers and you can get someone's email, phone number, cell phone, contact information. It's all out there. Like it's the 21st century now, there's really no privacy anymore. And especially mm -hmm. if it's B2B, we are allowed to reach out like that cold. And so what we do is number one, we validate. Is this the right phone number for the contact or the prospect or the lead? And just say, hey, is this the right phone number for John? Number two, if, he's, if he says yes, okay, we make him an offer. Great, John, the reason I'm reaching out to you is because I didn't know if you'd be interested in XYZ offer. And if he responds interested, number three, we book him. Okay, cool. How does 2 p.m. or 5 p.m. work for a quick phone call just to discuss it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it, it, like, whether you've got AI doing that, whether you've got a team of uh, overseas virtual assistants doing that, if you've got mm -hmm. a sure. kid out of high school doing that, like that's, yeah. just, that's just what yeah. needs to happen at the end of the day. And um, so our conversation funnel then kind of multiplies that. It gives you just several hit points all simultaneously. You can reach out to hundreds of people that way. And it, and it really is, you pour contacts in, a certain percentage are going to book on your calendar because a certain percentage are going to be interested if your offer is good. Yeah, you got to have the right thing to offer in the first place, yeah. right? So you talked about a number of things that are fairly simple and straightforward, but also in a way that it's cutting edge because it's got some really good technology behind it and what have you. So I think there were probably would be people that would be interested now if a better understanding and you've given us some tips and some wisdom there to go about this. What would you recommend and how would you recommend people get in touch with you and what should they do if they want to reach out? Yeah, just go to our websites, foxhoundadvertising.com. There'll be all sorts of buttons there. Like there's just one call to action, but it'll be showing up everywhere. Just to book a call with us, you know, book a strategy session, we'll help you. Just, you know, kind of a little more background too. It's like, while that process is simple, the AI conversation funnel is actually a piece of AI that's going through yeah. having those conversations for you. Just sure. All of that in the background for you. Um, so yeah. You know, happy to give anybody a demo if they just want to go to foxhoundadvertising.com, uh, F-O-X-H-O-U-N-D, advertising.com, like the fox and the hound. And, you know, for, for showing up to the calls too, we, we've started doing something where we always give you a free course afterwards, you know, whether or not you decide to move forward with us on anything or anything like that. My, my passion really is to make sure you go away with some action steps. And we've actually built out full courses with like action steps and things. Oh, okay. Hey, if you know, sounds like this is your specific problem you're looking to overcome. If you want to just set it and forget it and, and stay in your zone of genius, we can do it for you. Or if you or if you want to figure it out on your own, build it your own, et cetera, et cetera. Here's a you know course that we've actually built with like assignments and, and action steps. So you can just go do it yourself. And, and that way we can make sure that it was indeed uh, an actually valuable demo and, and phone call for you. Right. All right. Well, that's uh, pretty fascinating, pretty interesting, and uh, sounds like it's of interest to a whole lot of people. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for coming on the show today. I appreciate it. Thank you. Cool, Nick. Super appreciate it. Good chatting with you. Keep up the Likewise. great work. Oh, you too. You say the same thing. So this is Dr. Digital Podcast. And if you stayed here to the end, you get a free complimentary website analysis. See how you fit in comparison to your competitors. So until next time, thank you for tuning in this show. See you next time. Day is of old.